Can we talk about if our offense is alive? This game, I, it's been a long time I haven't seen our offense playing so good like they played this pass game against the Rams. Starting from Jimmy G. 21 out of 24, 200 plus yards, two touchdowns, zero turnovers. That is a hell of a game for, for Jimmy G. Hell of a game. There's no doubt about it. The running game, Christian McCaffrey, he just won the game against the Rams. He count for three touchdowns. He threw for a touchdown. He ran for a touchdown. And he cut a pass for a touchdown. Three touchdowns. Don't you... I mean... It is a full redemption trade for the 49ers. That Christian McCaffrey didn't went to the Rams. It doesn't matter how much we pay. Like I said in, in a previous episode, for me, the, the real price of Christian McCaffrey going to the 49ers, it was just the second round. The third round that we paid, we have a, a couple of those. If they came from losing our coordinators and our personnel in the front office. So if you want to use one of those to get Christian McCaffrey or any other player, not, not talking specifically about, about Christian McCaffrey, go ahead and do it. The, the fourth and the fifth round, again, the fourth round, not it, pay it, just the Rams not to get Christian McCaffrey. The fifth Morale boost. There you go. Real price, second round pick. And if Christian McCaffrey continued playing like he played in this past game, a second round pick is going to sound ridiculous in the future. Um, now, at the beginning, I was not completely sold in the trade for, from, for Christian McCaffrey. To be honest with you, Wrong side of, of age, injured prone, coming from a very complicated situation with, with the Panthers. So I, I was not the happiest uh, uh, thinking about the 49ers giving all this capital for Christian McCaffrey. But, I mean, if he continue playing like he's playing right now, more than happy. Than, than the 49ers they made this trade. Incredible. It, it kind of hurts that now Jeff Wilson Jr. is in the trade block because he's a very good running back. Very good. So, we will see what happens with, in, in that case. Um, offensive line. <clears throat> Mike McGlinchy. Good Lord. What are we going to do with Mike McGlinchy? Leonard Floyd coming to this game zero sacks. Against McGlinchy, two sacks. And I do believe that it was in the same series or in consecutive series. It is going to be very hard to compete every single game or maintain Jimmy G upright if we have that type of, of, of uh, playing from Mike McGlinchey. That is a reality. We, we cannot allow... Why you are not putting a tight end that it can help McGlinchey sometimes... It is ridiculous how many sacks, how many pressures McGlinchey game after game and he's, and he's not progressing. He's not getting better. It just sucks. He was a first round pick, not only not only a first round pick, he was a top 10 first round pick for the 49ers. Are you kidding me? 
it, it sucks. It sucks to have McGlinchy as a right tackle. Wide receivers, very good game. And, 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 and probably it, it might sound crazy, but I, I haven't seen this offense to operate that efficient and that good, that, that how they were running so smooth in a long time. And they did it without Debo Samuel. I don't know. It, it, I, I mean, I made a, a mental exercise about why not to trade Debo Samuel right now and get some capital, not, not only capital for the future, but if you trade him right now, you can bring two, three, four players to this team and make the run for the Super Bowl. You already made the trade for Christian McCaffrey. Imagine another three, four impact players, especially a right tackle, a corner. I mean, and, and, and uh, Shanahan calling the plays as he called in this past game. This is going to be a scary team to face, especially in the playoffs. George Kittle got involved. Brandon Ayuk was our main objective in the passing game. We have Christian McCaffrey. We have Jeff Wilson. And don't trade Jeff Wilson. If you are going to trade uh, Debo Samuel, don't trade uh, Jeff Wilson. You never know how, how durable is going to be Christian McCaffrey. In, in, in Jeff Wilson, is a hell of a player. So don't trade Jeff Wilson. Trade Debo Samuel. I don't know. It's just a, a, a mental exercise. Let's call it that way. Very good game from, from our receivers without Debo Samuel. Frederick McLeod, he is a special team player. He's not a wide receiver. I want to see more from Danny Gray instead of Frederick McLeod. Absolutely. He is not a good Wide receiver, period. He doesn't have elite hands. He doesn't have. He doesn't um, run routes eff efficiently. Absolutely not. He's an, a special team player. And keep it that way. Bring Danny Gray on those long passes. Not not Ray Ray McLeod. Um, defensive side of the ball, <laughs> incredible. But returning to, to the point of if our offense is alive, I never seen that efficient, not only on the execution of the plays, but also in the play calling. It, it was an outstanding game. And my question is, is this only because there were the runs? Or, or, or in fact, our offense is alive and it will continue getting better and improving. We have the bye week now to figure it out a couple of things, getting healthy. Then comes the Chargers. It's a good team. They've been struggling this, this year. <coughs> this year. But they are a good team. Absolutely. And the 49ers, they are not a good team coming from a bye week. So it's going to be very interesting if we see that progression of the offense into the Chargers game. Uh, I don't know if Jimmy G is going to have another game like, like this past Sunday. Jalen Ramsey had a couple of passes that he dropped in, that they were clear, clear interceptions. So... Even if he got that the, the interception, I mean, the game probably was out of reach for the Rams. So, in any case. But again, is it, it, it really was this trade of Christian McCaffrey, the missing piece for this offense to be this good? I doubt about it. I, I think that it was more related to the play calling 
in, in the adjustments that the 49ers, they did during the game than that just only Christian McCaffrey. Now, the talent and, and the catch that he made in the end zone and the, and the pass that he threw, we can talk that those two plays, they were mere talent and how good Christian McCaffrey is. So he he is a catalyst. Don't get me wrong. Absolutely, he's a catalyst. But the missing piece, I don't think so. We saw a similar play last year, and I, if I don't remember wrong, Debo Samuel threw a pass, a touchdown pass, to Raheem Mostert against the Saints. It was against the Saints. I I think it was against against the Saints. So we've seen that, that play executed by Debo Samuel in the past. And if we get healthier coming to this second part of the season and we progress as, as an offense, offensive group, this 49er team, it will be scary to face down the road. So I'm hoping that our offense is alive and it will continue getting better. And Jimmy Garoppolo, it will continue playing like he's playing right now. I know that is too much to ask, but let me know what you think. Comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe. And I like always see you in the next one.